Hey guys, what's going on? It's your girl Tally. I know I haven't been on here in a while. I'm sorry. Um, I'm just, I just don't feel like the type that I just want to come on and just say whatever. Like I really have to have something that is pressing on my heart to speak to you guys about. And I usually do, but it's just like, I guess, I just want to have something that I feel is deep to say. But I understand that maybe I could just be consistent. And I do always have a lesson. Every day in life, there's a lesson. And if I didn't already say it, it is your girl, Tally. But what I have to offer to you guys today is a lesson that I just learned. Um, this is, it's a tough lesson because I am now facing the consequences of my actions. And that is rightfully so. The things that we do in life are going to come back to bite us in the butt. Sometimes. Most of the time. Hopefully through God's grace and his mercy, a lot of things don't. So even the things that we don't even see that come back to bite us in the butt, we, out of God's mercy, we don't feel it or we don't see it or it just doesn't happen. But this right now is something that I feel like is worthy to say. And the thing is that you have to have a vision. You must have a vision for your life. We cannot go about life just doing whatever. Doing whatever, acting however, just letting things flow how they flow. And that doesn't go to say that when you have a vision, it's gonna it's not gonna take patience because you're gonna have to have some patience you're gonna have to be flexible and you are gonna have to let certain things flow how they may but as long as there is clear set out boundaries and points when i think of that i'm thinking like a railroad right there's there a lot of things happen in between those railroads like that's the flexibility that's the uh, the um, the flow but it still has to be within the boundaries of what your vision is how you said it's gonna be it doesn't have to be exactly to the t because we know in life things don't always turn out exactly to the t how we thought it would go but it has to be somewhere within the boundaries like it can't be something that's just way off because that happens too and when those way off things happen we know what happens um we it, we experience delay so there's some place that we're we think we're supposed to be or we might have we might are supposed to be in that place that we are not in that place because we experience delay we allow something someone or even some event to knock us off track so that's the part where we have to just reconsider and redirect what, what we're doing and get back on track and there's going to be a lot of that. I feel like there's going to be a lot of that too so if that's you don't beat yourself up about it it's all about realizing that you're off track and recentering yourself back on it because in life it's it definitely needs to be that but there's also a thing of being losing focus too easily because that's something that I struggle with like there's certain things that I didn't have to lose focus about there are certain things that I didn't have to let occur or I didn't have to fall into it but I did and that is what created that loss of focus so that's just in my own doing that's just that's not just life events that's just me not being focused and me not me allowing things to just basically just deterring from my vision which is that's on me i have to put that on myself and if that's you you have to put that on yourself you have to take responsibility for the part you play in derailing your own vision right but all i have to say is you have to have one you can't just let your life just flow any any way go down any path it it, it really you really have to come to the point where you find out what you really want to do what your real purpose is and it may take you some time to figure that out i'm not gonna lie because i feel like i just figured it out like the light bulb just went off i'm 28 years old the light bulb just went off and to be honest i could be on this path and then later down the line i switch another way i switch another way but it doesn't matter because as long as in your current moment you have chosen something that's gonna it may lead you to something else. It may lead you to this path, that path. But as long as you're being led somewhere, 
as long as you're allowing yourself to be focused on something because if you don't have anywhere you're going you're gonna leave yourself prone to going down the wrong path to doing the wrong things to doing things that are unhealthy for you that are not conducive to a better future for you so that's what the focus is about it's about focusing on things that you know in your heart that could lead to a better future like things change plans change but as long as you're on a healthy path then you'll be able to pivot wherever you need to pivot and I'm saying all that to say this because I feel like for the last um what can I say I would have to say the last year because I graduated college May 2023. I graduated with my bachelor's degree in international business. And even then I felt like I didn't really understand what I wanted to do with my life, my path. But at least I had something I was focused on. You understand that guys? So it's like, yeah, I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do. But my goal in that time period was to finish school. And finishing school, that's something healthy. That's something constructive. That's something conducive to a better future. So even though I didn't know exactly that kept me in within the bounds of a of of a better future it kept me focused and in order to be focused on school you have to be somewhat healthy you have to practice somewhat healthy habits in order to pass your classes in order to finish school so that's what kept me focused up into May 2023 um so much happened after that like so much I would say like spiritually, mentally, emotionally, upon me finishing school, so much realizations that, you know, I'm grateful for. A lot of it hurt, but I am also grateful for it. And at the same time, now I didn't really have anything else to focus on because yeah, I had a job, but for me, the type of person I am, I know that I'm not gonna always be working for someone. I know that, it's, I don't, I can't tell you how I know that, but I've always knew that. Ever since I was a little girl, I knew that I would be someone who either like a stay-at-home wife, who likes to manage the household, because even now I love to manage my own household, or a businesswoman. But most, but mostly I knew I'd be a businesswoman, right? So me just so a job is not something that I could just give all my focus to it never has this is why I haven't really done so well with with keeping a job <laughs> if I'm being honest and transparent um because I, I could never give my hundred percent to a job and I know that's probably a trigger to uh, many hard-working people nine to fivers out there who are you know dedicated to their job and I really do salute you because if you because when you feel like something is for you and you feel like climbing the corporate ladder is something in your heart that you are called to do, then I understand how passionate you are about that and continue to be passionate, continue to follow your dream, continue to uh, go above and beyond for for what you feel is meant for you because I'm gonna do the same for me. And in doing the same for me, unfortunately, I'm not able to give 100% to anyone's job because I just know that is not a long-term thing for me. It's not climbing the corporate ladder. It sounds great and all, and but I understand that's not for me. It's, I'm definitely someone who has to have their own business. It's, it's, not a, it's not a compromise for me. Eventually, that has to happen for me. And I'm saying that because um, after I graduated college, there was nothing else but a job. Thank God I had my, I still have my weight loss journey going on. So that's something that I focus and I give a lot of energy to. And I feel very fulfilled in that. So that kept me grounded as well. Because as I'm saying, you need some, you need things in your life, maybe more than one thing that definitely more than one thing that keeps you grounded, keeps you focused. Um, that helps you wake up in the morning that gives your life meaning and purpose a path that obviously God has you on because God it has to be the number one God has to be the center of that all God has to have you on that path because I I fear that um, I'm telling you all of this and you guys are gonna go out there and try to find that thing for you and you're gonna feel unfulfilled because I know for a fact a hundred percent that God has me on the path that I'm on right now and I would not feel as fulfilled as I I feel now 
unless God was in the midst of it, unless I knew that it was something that God has for me, unless I knew God, I knew God, I know, I knew Jesus, I knew what he, he's done for me, I have purpose in life, that, that is the, the standards and morals that I do my best to adhere to, that I want for myself, I want for my life, so those things are like, it's the foundation of everything I do. And I feel my best when I stay very close to those morals and standards. And I know there's other things out there that you guys probably could tell me about. But this is this is what I choose. This is my belief. This is what I believe in. And there's nothing that's going to change that. Um, but I do have to say, a lot of the things, a lot of the advice I give you, it may not work in the way you in the way I intend it to work and in the way I want it to work for you unless you have Jesus in the center so that's my disclaimer to you all but as I was saying um what was I saying I was saying that um besides my weight loss journey I was very unfocused after I graduated May 2023 and I got really impatient and the reason I got impatient was because I didn't have a vision I did not have a vision. Work could not be my vision because like I said, I don't intend on climbing a corporate ladder even though that came into my mind. But if, but if, if I do some real so deep soul searching, I realize that's not for me. Um, my weight loss journey is amazing and I'm having a great time and it's frustrating sometimes and I wanna cry sometimes because the weight doesn't come off as fast as you would like. But at the same time, and it, and it means a lot to me, but at the same time, just losing weight, looking better, feeling better, getting healthy, those are great things. I absolutely 100% recommend for anybody, but it can't be everything in your life unless you feel called to the fitness industry, right? But I don't feel called to be any fitness person, fitness instructor, even though people are trying to like make me that, I don't feel passionate about fitness like teaching other people training other people i don't feel passionate about it the only thing i feel passionate about is waking up in the morning and going to the gym for me so i know that's not my lane so that's what i had i had work that i'm not passionate about and i had my weight loss journey which i am very passionate about but it's not something that i feel like is my purpose and i was very unfocused and that really caused me to and this is just me you could do other things you could have their other symptoms but my symptom when i'm unfocused and i like vision i really turn into a different person if you look back to the videos when i say work on your attitude that's exactly what happens i start getting a bad attitude about life i become very ungrateful even though i tell people to be grateful and i could be so grateful about things but when i'm ungrateful i'm very ungrateful like it's like the opportunity that i, I i've been given to have a job Job, to be able to uh, financially provide for myself I just overlook that and I just become a very unpleasant ungrateful person and the attitude I have is uh, sickening and I don't treat people the way I'm supposed to treat people I treat them very disposable and this is me being honest with you guys judge me for it if you want to but I'm telling you what happens when I become unfocused and I like vision in my life and this could be something in your life that you do and I also practice self-sabotaging behaviors where it's like you know fire me <laughs> i don't care and you know and I, i'm gonna be i would be in such a pickle and i don't know what would i do and i would be at risk but it's like i don't care because all that shuts down when i don't have a vision so it's important for if you're like me it's very important for you to have a vision because when you don't have a vision you become ungrateful you become wasteful you 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 become self-sabotaging things around you that you should be grateful for you just mistreat that and you mistreat people and you're just not the person that god has called you to be and i feel like it's because you're not in your purpose because i believe there's certain people like myself that we must operate in that purpose we are called for such a time as this we are called to be a certain kind of individual and when we veer away when we turn away from that individual we're we're not we're not our best selves we're we can we're not able to operate in our best selves without adhering to the vision that god has for our life because 
Yes. If I could think back, it's so far away, but if I could think back to when I was in in life doing whatever, doing whatever, I was such a incomplete person. I was so not whole. I was so very much more insecure. I was so much very much more um unpleasant. I was not confident there was just so much i was lacking because i wasn't able to step my foot into i wasn't even a foot a toe into the things that god had wanted and what he had for me and i was so lost and um it was just it was just not a good time but i was definitely much younger so you don't understand that and you have you know when you're younger you do what you do when you're younger but yeah, so the per the person I am when I don't have a vision, when I'm not in my purpose, is not someone I'm proud of at all. So I'm just letting y'all know to let you guys know the lesson that I have because I've been going through it for the past year, not having, not, you know, just seeking, like, what am I supposed to do? What is my vision? What does God want for my life? What am I supposed to do next? Um, I can't, I got really impatient. Like, I don't want to do this anymore. I'm bored with this. Like, a lot of like acting out self-sabotaging is just because i just didn't know i don't i didn't know what's next and i got really impatient with that but now i'm looking back and i'm like i should have really been patient i really should have been patient i really should have co continued to trust god with whatever he had for me so i don't become impatient and this is just something i need to learn because i'm just learning that i do have an attitude problem i do have an anger problem you know like um there's there's things that i need a lot of self there's areas i need a, to practice more self controlling i need i basically i have to feel like it boils down to definitely more patience because i get angry because i don't have a patience with a situation so that's something that god really revealed in me through my coworkers through um yeah basically through my coworkers that i don't have patience especially with other people um and that's something i intend on working on and it's been a whole year of that and I did I did do some things out of that lack of patience I did do some things that have consequences and um sabotage me in different ways with different people sabotage my image sabotage um me and my work ethic right and I have to take responsibility and deal with the consequences of that so that's why I'm speaking to you guys so you don't have to fall into the same situation you have to have that vision but you have to have God you have to trust God you have to trust what he said what he says about you in your life you have to have patience for him to reveal to you what's next because now out of his mercy he revealed to me what's next and I'm like oh my god I've I did all of this and it was like I'm I'm running in circles like a chicken with my head cut off acting crazy and boom god just released something that boom that just changes everything that that makes you stand still and i'm like okay now i'm causing and causing problems for no reason <laughs> now i'm doing things for no reason when i could have just chilled and trust god but at the same time the, the, my also, another problem that i has i never want to feel lazy i never feel i don't like to feel stagnant because for a long time in my life i felt the, that type of way and i don't want to feel that way anymore so when it feels like things are not going i feel like oh my god you're getting lazy oh my god you're getting complacent so i'm really i guess i'm fearing complacency i'm feeling i'm fearing being lazy because i feel like there's so much more and i don't want to get stuck so that's what causes me to get to be impatient um but that's another thing that i have to work on and i have to know the difference between being patient and being lazy um but and then i'm causing so much drama in the midst of that which is terrible guys so have a vision for your life focus on that vision trust god for that vision be patient i have to go i'm gonna be late bye-bye i love you guys